This is question number 44 of the 2013 KCPE math paper. It says, in the figure shown below, line AB is parallel to line CD. Lines EC, EF and BF are transversals. Okay, so we know first of all that um, line AB is parallel to CD. So let's mark on these lines. So AB is this line here, and CD is this line here, and we're told that they're parallel. We're also told that EC, EF, and BF, so this one here is EF, um, BF is this line here, and EC is this line here. We're told that these, one, these lines are transversals, and we're asked um, which of these statements below is correct. So when we're given a, a question that's framed like this, it's best to look at the answers and to work backwards from the answers doing a process of elimination. So the first one is Q plus S is equal to 180. So this here is Q and this here is S. And we're asked, are they or are they not equal to 180? So how do we go about approaching this question? Well, we can see that there's another angle here that might help us, and that's angle P. And remember, there are three main ways we know whether or not angles are equal. We have a vertically opposite angles, so we might have an angle here and an angle here. Uh, these angles are vertically opposite, so they're equivalent, just as, so let's label this A, say, and this B. So A is equal to B. And similarly, if we had another angle here, C, and another angle here, D, C would be equal to D as well. We also have uh, alternate angles, or Z angles, And we have F angles or corresponding angles. So if we can fit any, if we know any angles here, um, fit these rules, and we know that they are equivalent. So if P and S fit any of these rules, we know that P and S are equivalent. And since P and Q lie on the same line, we know that they sum up to 180. So if we can find a way um, a, or an argument that says that P is equal to S, we know that Q and S is equal to 180. Since we're told that A, B and C, D are parallel lines, we know that we can use the corresponding or the F angle rule and we can draw an F here to illustrate that. So we have and F right down here. And as you can see from that, this means that P and S are equal. So since P is equal to S and P plus Q is equal to 180, we can substitute P for S in this equation here. So we get S plus Q is equal to 180. So that means that A is correct, so A is our answer. Okay, so let's start off with B, which is P plus R is equal to T plus V. So I've highlighted um, uh, P and R in blue, and I've highlighted T and V in pink. So we can see straight away that T and V are vertically opposite and Q and R are vertically opposite. But they're not the same or they're not uh, the same they're not the same vertically opposite angle. So if it had been Q and this other unnamed angle vertically opposite to Q, we would have been able to say that they are um, equivalent angles. But as you can see, uh, P and V would sum to 180, and R and T would sum to 180, and we know that um, these lines are not perpendicular, so we know that EF is not perpendicular to AB and CD, and it would only be if EF was perpendicular to AB and 
CD that we could say that P and R and T and V are equivalent because at that point they would have been 90 degree angles. So we know uh, that uh, B is false. Next, let's move on to C. So C is V plus U is equal to S plus R. So I'll highlight um, these angles with a little star. So this is angle V, this is angle U, this is angle S, this is angle R. So we know that V plus U is equal to 180. So we could change this statement of C to 180 is equal to S plus R. And if that's correct, that means that C is also correct. S is uh, vertically opposite to U. Um, we also know that S is equal to or is equivalent to P and P is vertically opposite to R. So that means that S is equal to R. Um, as we know that, uh, as I said before, EF is not um, perpendicular. We know that neither S nor R is um, 90 degrees. So that means that they can't be, they can't sum to 180. So that means that C is false also. Lastly, we have D, which is Q plus T is equal to 180. So um, Q, as we said before, is uh, vertically opposite to an unnamed angle. I'm just going to call that angle X for now. And X, according to the, uh, the F angle rule, is uh, the same as T. That means that Q is also equal to T. And as we talked before, EF is not perpendicular to um, uh, AB and CD. That means that they are not, Q and T are not both 90 degrees, which means that um, D is also false. So we worked out um, through a process of elimination, the answer to question 44 is A, Q plus S is equal to 180.